Hello, it is Sunday morning and I am actually not doing this live just in case of bloopers. So it's Deborah, and I'm gonna share this recipe that's gonna come right out of my newest book for smoothie bowls. So like a lot of us in the health and wellness space, I have become a total fan of smoothie bowls after being a huge smoothie lover for a long time. But I love the idea of sitting down to a bowl and it being a little thicker and the toppings on top make it so much fun. That's half the fun for me. But the one I'm gonna mix up right now is something that you might not be doing regularly. And that's why. So I'm looking at my recipe book over here. I've got it up on my laptop because I'm literally testing all of these and creating the images. So you're a part of that. This one is the mixed berry palm power bowl. So it's pomegranate power and it's a huge antioxidant. So what we're gonna do is take all the ingredients. So right now I am using Plant Powered Girl. That's my private label. And I'm using vanilla because with the pomegranate, we don't want chocolate to take over the flavor. So two scoops is one serving. So I'm gonna get about 21 grams of protein with that. And then I'm going to put in a cup of mixed berries. And I actually didn't have mixed berries, a bag of them, but I have strawberries and I had frozen blueberries, so I mixed the two of them. Next up, three tablespoons of the pomegranate powder. Just a little secret from my kitchen to yours. This is how I measure. That's about one, that's about two, and that's about three, and I feel comfortable with that. So I hope nobody's squeamish at home who has to dot the eyes across the teeth. So, half a frozen banana, and when I freeze my bananas, I cut them first. I've got a high-powered blender. It could handle it, but I just like to make things a little bit easier and shorter, so it's not gonna have to blend quite as long. But that banana, like an avocado would too, makes it a little bit more creamy. So, next up is half a cup of almond or coconut milk, and I happen to have coconut milk, so I'm using that, and you wanna err on the conservative side with your liquid when you're making a smoothie bowl versus a smoothie because you don't want it too runny. And I like to put in ice. Ice is optional, but I just love to actually have it really cold and a little bit more um, kind of substantial, if you will. So it's gonna add a little body to it so long as you don't let it sit there and melt. Trust me, I don't. So now, bear with me. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this out. So here goes the noise factor. So I'm just gonna beat this. What I'm doing is taking a couple high power to kind of really just pulse it to get the ice down. control freak about most things, but that will bother me a little bit. <laughs> so I just don't want to take up your whole day. So I'm going to put that right into the bowl and you can see the pomegranate and the berries together make it so rich and pretty. So I pour it into a white bowl on purpose because that's amazing. Now for me, half the fun is decorating the bowl on top to add some color and really make it an artful kind of a breakfast. So sitting down to eye appeal, things that look and taste wonderful probably are more appealing to us and knowing that they're good for us. So I'm putting on some raw coconut flakes. I'm gonna add some sunflower seeds which is more of an unusual thing. I don't always use sunflower seeds. And the last thing I'm gonna add here, I'm reaching across, is I've sliced up some kiwi. What I love about kiwi is 
the color. So just adding that beautiful color. So take a look at this. I'm gonna tip the camera without tipping my bowl. And you've got this, voila. That's the mixed berry pomegranate bowl. And it is powerfully full of antioxidants and protein and fiber to power you through the morning. So I'm not gonna be hungry again until my next meal. And I'll see you later.